If you're looking to sell products or services online, a well-designed sales page can make all the difference. In this video, I will walk you through how to create a sales page using Squarespace. If you don't want to build a sales page from scratch, check out my sales page templates below. Just fill in your content, change colors, add your products and services, and start selling. In short, a sales page is a web page designed to persuade visitors to take specific actions, usually to purchase a product or service. It's typically include a compelling headline, description of the product or service being offered, and call to action that prompts visitors to take the action, such as clicking on the button to purchase the product or sign up for a service. Just before we dive in, here's a structure for the sales page you should follow to convert visitors. And this is a structure I'm going to be using today while building out my, my sales page inside Squarespace. The first Part is the heading. This is the most important element of the sales page. It should be attention grabbing and communicate the main benefits of your product or service. Next follows the introduction. This section should provide an overview of what is the product or service is about and why it's important and why, what problem does it solve to the visitors. And then you want to list the benefits. Use bullet points or short paragraphs to highlight the key benefits of the product or service following by the features where you provide a more details about the features of the product or service. Include some specification components, tools, and everything they would um, get if they purchase your product. After it, followed by social proof where we can add customer testimonials, case studies, or other form of social proof to demonstrate the effectiveness of the product to help build trust and credibility with the potential customers. The next would be to include a pricing breakdown and the last part is the closing part. This is where you wrap up the sales page and provide any final information or incentive to encourage visitors to take action. The structure of the sales page can vary depending on the complexity of the product or service. Additional section would be added to provide more information, answer common questions, or address objections. All right, so let's jump into the score space and start building out our sales page. Into the main navigation, click new page and let's name it sales page and then click on it and let's add. And we probably would like to have some background image. I'm going to select one of the images I already pre uploaded to the website and we want to add the headline. So this is one of the most important parts of the sales page. So you want to make sure that your headline is large and attention grabbing and it describes best what you do. And the next thing uh, that we must have is a button, which is, is our call to action. We also wanted to make it bright and big so no one can miss it. And since we cannot really see the text because of the image, I want to add, I'm gonna come over here and add some under the background, I want to add some color overlay. This looks better. And then the next part is going to be some introduction about our product. So we can add an image. This is a digital product. We can showcase it by using a mock-up. Let's add text. And we probably would want to add more text to explain what is act what is this product is about. But just make sure that you use sub-headlines, headlines, and paragraphs interchangeably to uh, break down the, the blocks of text to make it more engaging and interesting for people to um, read. Here's a trick. You can just come over here and copy it, and then come over here, and we're going to drop it in here. This is one of the most recent Squarespace feature that really is going to save you a lot of time. And just shift it over here. Looks Perfect, and then just select all of it and make sure to center it. This looks good. And now we're gonna proceed to the benefits. I think it would be best to use this section. I'm come here to edit content and under the design, we want to select a simple list to remove one of this. And under the design, I want to make the prominent. So under the style, I want to include a cart. If we come to the edit section and then come to the colors, okay, this looks better to me because they are more prominent under the design. So we want to come onto the size and spacing and under the style. And we want to make maybe text a little larger. So the first one, just a little larger. And the elements, 
just toggle the image on. And to make it also even more prominent, I created this check mark. It's good to use a combination of different graphics and images. This little graphic, it's going to drive more attention. You want the image crop. And then under the size and spacing, you want to come under the media, and make it very small, just like that. And then under the content again, we can come back and just upload the same um, check. And the way I created this check mark, uh, it just went to uh, Canva basically and downloaded as a transparent background. So we're done with our um, benefits. This is great. And next we can, we're going to include some features. So I'm just going to copy this section. So I'm going to paste this over here and add another image. Let's use this one, make it a little larger. And currently it's not taking the full width. And the way we can fix it, let's click this icon. And on the design, we want to select the film. Looks better to me. And maybe I make it like this. And just a little larger section itself. The next part would be to add a social proof. Just to make it, I'm going to reuse the same one. Just scroll it down. And for example, like I don't really like how close it is. So I don't want this title here. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to add a new section, blank section, and I want to make sure that it's the same color as the one below. So this color, and I'm going to add a block of text saying something like words from mind. Okay, and I want to center this one. We want to adjust this, make it smaller just like that and here we would include the testimonial but under the content we can add images of people who used it which is this lady then here we can replace it something else and so now they, they're a little too squished so for this gallery i would want the image to be circled and under the size i want to make it a little bigger this looks good so this is the social proof. And then the last part, to save time, I'm just going to copy this one. And this is going to be the closing part, the closing part of your sales page when you want to provide the final call to action and encourage visitors to purchase from you. So this is a very simple sales page. Uh, you can add more section as needed, depending on the complexity of your product. So the sales page usually does not have any navigation, so no header or footer. And so there is a simple code that we can add to the sales page to make sure that we, we remove this. So the way we can do it is uh, come here to the sales page and click on this gear icon and then scroll to advance and insert this code. And basically what it says is just for this page, we want to remove header and footer by, by not displaying it and click save and voila. And the beauty of using um, Squarespace, if you're already using Squarespace for your website, that you don't need to do any styling because the Squarespace is already has the styling of your website. And now that our sales page is designed, built and ready to go, the last part would be to add a payment processing or actual product so we can charge people. There is a few options you can go about it in Squarespace. So the first one, if you have an e-commerce plan, you can actually create a product and embed that product onto your sales page. So here on the homepage, on the navigation, I already have created a store. And if you don't know how to do it, you just click on that link. You want to click the plus icon and create a store. And this is the product I have created. And the way you create a product, just click plus icon. And I'm going to create a download. And here you can just add a name, a description, or you can add image. Here you would upload a file, so it's a digital download, that's how you do it. And you would set a price to, let's say, 60 And under the custom button, or when you scroll down all the way to the checkout, here, instead of add to cart, you can actually enable a custom label and do it like buy now, maybe. Click apply, and now we're gonna publish it. So this is our digital product that we're going to be selling on our sales page. Let's click edit and let's add a block and look for product. Search the product I just created. Okay, so I have two products, right? 
this one then when I go under the design you want to make sure like I don't want to have an image and I just want to have buy now button that's all I want to have and I want to make sure that I position it to the center just like that and now instead of okay instead of this call to action I'm going to actually remove it and place this buy now button just like that okay and I'm going to duplicate this and paste it over here and um, I'm gonna align it differently okay this looks good so now if I exit this and go into the preview and if I click this by this is the card so it has added to the card and you can click over here and proceed to the checkout the other option would be if you have like a tribe card which is the shopping card that allows you to sell your products so here is my drive card. This is actually how I sell all of my templates. And all you have to do is uh, once you create a product here, uh, I'm not gonna walk you through how to create a product here, but basically you would create a new product. And then once the product all published and ready, you would just get a new URL. Let's delete this and add a button. I'm gonna change it to buy, buy now. And I'm gonna insert this URL I just copy and click save. And now if I preview, and I click the buy now button. It's gonna actually take me to the checkout page from the drive card. And this is basically one of my templates and you can just fill out and buy this through the drive card. And the last option would be to use Stripe and Stripe allows you to charge for your products. The free, you can create your account here on the menu, click on more and create a product catalog this would bring you to this menu where you can um, add a product name your product here description so you would uh, select your price and sixty dollars and it's a one-time payment okay looks good I'm just gonna copy this and then uh, let's go back to our sales page click edit and here on the buy button we would insert let's preview it now if I click buy now it would take me to this PayPal, which is, we have $60, the name, name here, that would be the name of your product. And below, this is a description of the product and they can just fill out the information and pay for the product from there. I hope this was helpful. And again, if you don't want to build out your sales page, there is um, a link for the template below that you can check it out. Thank you.